Why do mirrors reverse left and right? Answer, they don't. Huh? Let's explain this paradox, step by step, starting with a pencil. Hold a pencil horizontal in front of a mirror, with the tip of the pencil to the left. In both the actual pencil and its mirror image, the tip is to the left and the eraser is to the right. This tells us that the mirror does nothing to the left-right axis. And, of course, this is super helpful when driving. Say there's a car approaching you on your left. Look into the rearview mirror, and sure enough, you'll see in the mirror that the car is approaching you on the left. No inversion. Hold a pencil vertical in front of a mirror. Let's point the pencil downward with the eraser in the up position. For both the actual pencil and its mirror image, the tip is down and the eraser is up. So the mirror does nothing to the up-down axis either. But here's where it gets trippy. Hold the pencil perpendicular to the mirror with the tip pointing toward you. Let's define the tip of the pencil as the front and the eraser as the back. Notice how the back of the pencil is closest to the mirror. And notice how this is true for both the actual pencil and its mirror image. But here's the thing. You're looking at the actual pencil from its front. Look carefully to the mirror image and you'll see that you're looking at it from behind. What's happening here is that the front-back axis is flipped. We're very used to a world where we see things from the front. If it's in the front, it's closer to us. If it's behind, it's farther away. But in the mirror world, what's behind is closer to us, and what's in front is farther away. What this means is that in the mirror world, you're always looking at things from behind. If this is hard to grasp, you're not alone. But as a great reminder, just hold a pencil perpendicular to a mirror. Look into the mirror and you'll see the pencil from behind. And in fact, you're seeing everything from behind. Consider Joe, who everyone knows has a mole on his right upper lip. Now, let's invert Joe along the front-back axis, which is kind of like turning him inside out, or better to say, front-side back. From our point of view, the mole stays toward the right throughout the transformation. But for Joe himself, he's now the mirror image, and in that world, he finds the mole on his left upper lip. If he was right-handed, he'll now find he's left-handed. This all happens not because of a change in the left-right axis. No, it happens because of a change in the front-back axis. The point is this. When you look in the mirror, you're looking at things from behind. So let's write the word backward on some wax paper. From the front, it looks like this. From behind, it looks like this. Yes, from the front, it looks like this. Hmm, want to see what it looks like from behind? Well, you have a choice. You can look at it from behind by flipping it, or you can hold it up to a mirror. It's the same thing. When you look at yourself in the mirror, you're looking at yourself from behind which is weird because we're not translucent like wax paper. But if you were translucent, your mirror image is exactly what one would see if they could look right through your translucent head. That is, looking at you from behind. Lastly, what about the up-down axis? The same holds true. We're seeing the up-down axis also from behind. Flip the paper left-right to see what it looks like from behind along the horizontal. 
Now flip the paper top bottom to see what it looks like from behind along the vertical. What you see in the mirror, no matter how you flip it, is the view from behind. The left, right, and top bottom, they behave the same. It's just that, biologically speaking, we humans are bilateral. Our two eyes horizontal to the ground, and that makes us rather focused on how things look in the left-right orientation. So when someone asks, why does only left-right flip and not top-bottom? You'll need to explain that actually neither of them flip. What's on the left stays on the left. What's on top, it stays on top. What flips is the front to back. In summary, the mirror inverts the front-back axis only, which means the mirror world is what the real world looks like from behind, as you can see with a pencil. The word ambulance, when viewed from behind, looks like this, and that's difficult to read, which is why clever ambulance designers paint the word ambulance not backward, but as seen from behind. So in your rearview mirror, you see it as though from the front. All right, I think you might be ready. So let's now re-examine that mystery we saw at the start of this video. You'll agree this is the view from behind, right? And in the mirror, so is this. Well, flip it over and you'll see the view from the front. Ah. So don't let anyone tell you that the mirror flips left and right. It doesn't. But in this case, what about the front to back? Is that still being flipped? Of course it is, because you're looking in a mirror. It's just that this piece of paper, it's two-dimensional. So let's give it a three-dimensional bulge, and you'll see that in the mirror, you are indeed looking at the front from behind. Imagine that. Hmm. Mirror, mirror on the wall, what a different perspective you provide for us all. Good energy. Good energy.